Hi, I'm Sarah SDX, author of DontCookYourBowls.com, a lighthearted guide to male fertility. I've decided to travel far and wide to seek out the top experts in the field to find out what causes male infertility and more importantly, what can be done about it. Hi, today is all about testosterone. Testosterone can really make a man feel good, boost his energy, help him build muscles, um, has a lot of great benefits, but uh, how does it impact your fertility? Uh, Dr. Worthman can is gonna explain to us a little bit about how testosterone can actually cause azoospermia um, and what he does with his patients to correct it. Let's see what he has to say. So I think we talked about the genetics. Mm -hmm. We talked about Klinefelters. Mm -hmm. We talked about varicocele. Mm -hmm. So some of the other things that can cause uh, non-obstructive azospermia, one of the biggest ones, I'm surprised I left it out so far, is steroids. Juicing. Yeah, juicing, <laughs> exactly. Makes you a big man, but. And I don't mean with a blender. <laughs> yeah, right. right. So it's not the blueberries and the yogurt. Yeah. So what, I think one of the most important messages, if I can get that out here today, is that testosterone in any of its forms when taken externally can cause men to stop producing sperm and cause azospermia and what happens is guys see these commercials late night do you want to feel better do you want to feel stronger um, do you are you tired is your libido low and they go in and they get a test and they might have a borderline testosterone or even a little bit of low testosterone and their doctor puts them on a cream or a gel and they don't really think it's medicine because they're not taking a pill or they're not getting a shot, they're just rubbing some lotion on. Well, this lotion has a chemical in it and that chemical really can cause some side effects. So it's great for someone who has low testosterone who doesn't want to have more children, mm -hmm. but it's real important that if you're gonna go to see a doctor and you either haven't had children and want to or want to have more children, you need to bring this up and say, hey, I can't go on testosterone even if my testosterone is low if we're trying to have more babies. Mm -hmm. And then there's other medicine that, uh, that we can put patients on to boost their testosterone internally okay. without taking it from the outside world without shutting down sperm production. So it's kind of interesting because, you know, we think of testosterone as being just this, this manly mm -hmm hormone and it is and and it's important for sperm production it is but it kills sperm production that's right what is going on so <laughs> it is critical for sperm production but it's critical when it's made by the body because what happens is your body works like a thermostat there is regulatory mechanisms so your brain starts this process off by making two hormones uh, called FSH and LH. It actually starts one level above that. There's a precursor hormone that actually causes the release of the FSH and LH. Mm -hmm. These two signals get into the bloodstream and they're taken up by the testicle. And the testicle only has two jobs. That's it. It's very important, two jobs. Number one is it makes testosterone and number two is it makes sperm. So the LH causes the cells in the testicle called lytic cells to put out testosterone. FSH causes the sperm production cascade to begin and sustains it. Testosterone, when it's produced by the testicle, gets back into the bloodstream and your brain has sensors that detects the level of testosterone. Testosterone shuts down the brain. So it stops making these two chemicals and stops sending the signal to the testicle to make sperm and to make testosterone. So then the body stops making testosterone and the levels start falling over a few hours. Mm -hmm. So then the brain's receptors aren't saturated anymore and it clicks on, just like the thermostat clicks on um, when the temperature gets to, to below or above the, the set amount. And then it makes those hormones and releases them again. And then the mm -hmm. testicle starts making sperm and testosterone again. And this happens multiple times throughout the day. That's the normal situation. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you take a shot of testosterone from the outside world that lasts for three weeks at a time? Or what happens if you put a cream on every day that gives you 24 hours of a high testosterone level? Well, the receptors in your brain become saturated and your brain shuts off. 
your brain doesn't know where the testosterone comes from. It just knows there's so much around that it doesn't have to turn on and do its job. Right. So no signal gets sent to the testicles. I and see. then the testicles stop making testosterone, but more importantly, they stop making sperm. Wow. So in these men, we don't do biopsies. What we do is we correct the problem. We take them off the testosterone and we increase the hormones that send the signal to the testicles so that they start making sperm again. And 90% of these men will make normal sperm after we uh, replace their hormones and get them off testosterone. 10% uh, will be sterilized, more than likely. Wow. Um, so it's real important that people realize this before they actually start taking the medicine because we don't want to take away their choice and their, their ability to conceive. So this is um, why you have the stereotypical, like, guys that use steroids have, you know, shrunken, you know, small testicles or exactly. whatever. This is, this is what's going on. Wow, that's really interesting. Do you see a lot? Is this a big portion of what you see? You know, it's becoming more and more common with the more aggressive advertising by the drug companies. Wow, yeah. It used to be very few patients would come in with this as an issue when I first started 17 years ago. Now, it might be one or two patients a week right. um, who are sent in uh, because they're azospermic and, and no one's realized that it's because they're on testosterone or even worse, some doctors don't realize this. You know, there was a theory in urology when I was a resident uh, 25 years ago, and that theory said that if you gave men with low sperm counts testosterone for a while, and then you stopped the testosterone, they would have a rebound, and all of a sudden their sperm counts would shoot up. Hmm. Well, that theory has been disproven. That really doesn't happen much, um, and instead, that information got changed into give guys with low sperm counts testosterone to make them better, when actually you're making them worse. So unless someone's gone through the thought process of how the body works, um, you know, if, then they're not going to get to the conclusion that giving men this hormone actually doesn't help fertility, it causes infertility. Wow. That, uh, yeah, it's, tr it's tricky because you just, you just, you have this natural thought like, well, you need testosterone to make sperm, so let's give testosterone and we'll fix the problem. Sure. And, uh, so. Well, it's an education issue because th th when I explain that to the patient, the next question out of their mouth invariably is, well, why didn't my doctor tell me that? Or why didn't my doctor know? Well, I don't know why someone knows or doesn't know anything other than they weren't educated in medical school properly. Right. Today's takeaway is really simple. If you're trying to have a baby, don't use testosterone. No juicing. It's not good for baby making. Additionally, it's important to realize that long-term use of testosterone can cause permanent damage to the testicle. For this reason, it's important to talk to your doctor um, about using testosterone and if uh, and the safer kind of safer alternatives for your fertility. Um, there are uh, uh, quite a few options for naturally boosting your testosterone as well as medical interventions that that you can look into. Um, Doctor Worthman uh, is totally available to uh, take some calls or emails, so feel free to reach out to him. Also, you can check out our website, www.don'tcookyourballs.com. Thanks for tuning in. Don't juice. Have a good day.